In today's video, I'm going to go over solving systems of linear equations by elimination. And because I am currently teaching math in Berlin, Germany, I put down that this is also known in German as the Additionsverfahren or the addition method. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use the elimination method, and we are going to solve these two linear equations. And this is the equation for a line. This is the equation for the line. And what we're doing, in a sense, is we're finding the point where these two lines cross each other. That is going to be a single point, a single x and y coordinate, and we want to know where those lines cross each other and what x and y values will solve this equation and what single x and y values will also be a solution for this equation. And we're going to do that using the elimination method. Now, what we need to do is we're going to add these two equations up. And when we add these two equations up, we need to eliminate either the x values or the y values. Now, I like to write the one equation down on my page, write the other equation down on my page, one over the other like that, and then I draw a line and I think about if I add them up, how can I eliminate the x and the y values? Well, if I add them up the way they are right now, I have 2x plus 3x is 5x, 9y plus 2y plus 2y is 11y, and I won't have eliminated either the x or the y values. But I can see that if I multiply the top equation by 3, and I multiply the bottom equation by minus 2, then I'll have 6x and minus 6x, and when I add 6x and minus 6x, I will eliminate the x values, because those will add up to 0, and then I can solve for the y values. So I'm going to multiply these equations, one by three and the other by minus two, and then we'll add them up. Now, when I multiply, I have to multiply all three terms. So three, no, excuse me, two x times three is six x. Nine y times three is 27 y. Minus one times three is minus three. For the bottom equation, I have 3x times minus 2 is minus 6, 2y, and it's actually positive 2y times minus 2 is minus 4y, and 10 times minus 2 is minus 20. Now, once again, I draw a line underneath. I'm going to add them up. I can see that this is 6x. This is minus 6x. I add these. I get 0. Plus 27 plus minus 4 is going to give me 23y. And that is going to be equal to, when I add these constants up, I get minus 23. Okay? Now I have 23y equals minus 23. I'm going to divide both sides by 23. And I get that the y value is minus 1. Well, that's the y value, but I also need the x value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these two equations. I'm going to substitute the y value for minus 1. I'm going to put in minus 1 for y. So I'm going to use the top equation. It doesn't matter which one you use. I have 2x plus 9y. So I have 2x plus 9y. Well, I know now that y is minus 1, hopefully, if I did it correctly. So I take the y out, I put the minus 1 in, and I get equals minus 1. Simplify 2x minus 9, because this is positive 9 times minus 1 is minus 9 equals minus 1. Now I need to move this 9 to the other side, this minus 9 to the other side. I'm going to add 9 to both sides. I'm going to add those up again, and I get 2x minus 9 plus 9 is 0 equals minus 1 plus 9 is 8. And that means that when I divide both sides by 2, I get that the x value is 4. That means that these two lines are going to intersect each other at the point 4 minus 1. x is 4, y is minus 1. It also means that this pair of xy coordinates is the solution for this equation and is also the solution for this equation because that's where these two lines intersect. Now, am I 100% sure of that? No. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check to make sure I did this correctly, and these are the correct values. The way I do that is I'm going to substitute 
4 and minus 1 into each equation, and hopefully this equal sign will hold true, and this side will be equal to minus 1, and this side will be equal to minus 1. So I write the first equation down. I substitute in the x values and the y, the x value and the y value, and I'm going to simplify the left-hand side. 8 minus 9 is minus 1. So both sides of that equation are minus 1, and that tells me that I'm pretty sure that this point lies on this line. So now I'm going to see if this same point also lies on this line. I'm going to check it using the second line. I write the equation down, substitute the x values in, simplify, and both sides are equal to 10. So that tells me that not only is this point on this line, but this point is also on this line. And that means that this is the point where those two lines intersect each other. OK, so that's problem number one. Let's do one more. Now, we have this is the equation of a line. This is the equation of a line. I'm going to write them down on my page, draw a line, and think about if I add them up, will the x values or the y values go away? No. If I add this, I get 4x. If I add this, I get minus 12y. Well, what can I do? What's the easiest thing I can do to get rid of, to eliminate either the x values or the y values? And the easiest thing to do is to multiply one of the two equations. It doesn't matter which one times minus 1, because then I'll have minus 2x. 2x times minus 1 is minus 2x, and when I add them up, the x will go away. I can solve for y. Let's do that. The first equation, I'm not going to do anything to that one, so I just write it down the way I have it. Now I'm going to multiply all three terms times minus 1. 2x times minus 1 is minus 2x. Minus 7y times minus 1 is plus 7y. Minus 14 times 1 is 14. Now I'm going to add them up. The two x's go away. I eliminate the x values. The y values go to 2y equals 8. Divide both sides by 2. And the y value is 4. Now I have the y value. Now I need to substitute this value, y, into one of these two equations for y and solve for x. And I'm going to use this top equation, 2x minus 5y. Well, y is 4, so I substitute the 4 in, equals minus 6. Simplify 2x is minus 20 because minus 5 times 4 is minus 20, equals minus 6. Now I'm going to move this to the other side, which means I'm going to add 20 to both sides. When I add those up, I get 2x equals 14. Divide both sides by 2 again, and I get that x equals 7. So now I know that the x value and the y value, the x and the y coordinate, where these two lines intersect, is 7, 4. That means also that this point, these two values are the solutions for these equations. Okay, now I didn't do the check for this problem, but it would be the same thing. I can substitute the x value in here and the y value in here, and hopefully it will equal minus 6. Let's see, this is actually 2 times 7 is 14, minus 5 times 4, it would be minus 20, that would equal minus 6. You can do the same thing for the other one, and you'll get minus 14, and you'll know that this is the correct point for these two lines. Okay, so that's how you do solving systems of linear equations by elimination. Once again, if you want to watch the other video with some other examples, you can link to it right here. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it very much. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, you can do all of the following three things. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Get all of my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Give me a thumbs up for this video. And also, right down there in the comment section, leave me a nice positive comment. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next video.